So, this is my camera that I used to have around the back, now facing west. Um, so I've got it coming through the window here in the corner uh, with the LAN cable. And lucky enough we've got outside power adapter. And you can see it still gets a wee bit wet, wet there, even though we got eaves above here. So further around. Is the other camera I had out the back to do a comparison. This is the 4K one though. And I've trimmed back some of the branches here. Which were reflecting infrared light back at the lens and causing lens flare. And I've played around with the tape, I think it was reflecting off a bit of tape that was flapping around. So we'll see if that improves the image at night time. And heading off this way, near the lemon tree or bush, is my other camera, which I've taken the dome off and put in some aluminium on it to keep it cooler because it gets like 55 degrees Celsius in there in summer in that bay window there but some lemons, they seem to be popping up all year round great for making drinks and squeezing it on fish unfortunately Dad likes to junk up the place around here, especially if always um, he's a bit of a hoarder. Wood and uh, garden. So this is where my first camera is, and as you can see, I shortened the tripod. Yeah, uh, as usual. I hit the hit button which stopped it recording. So here's the, my first camera. I've done some extra waterproof, waterproofing on it. This uh, kilt that goes around because it's not meant to be upside down for waterproofing. Uh, don't use the Wi Fi on it, but there's an option. And you've got the cables taped off. And it's on a wee bit of a slope. But it looks like it sunk into the ground a bit there, but it doesn't really matter because we've got quite a lot of upward angle here for the sky anyway. There's the pouch for putting the smartphone in with compass and all those other features that you can get on the smartphone. Um, and the safety wire, because when we used to put it up high above the rafters here to see over top of the house, um, decided that we don't really need to have 360 view above we can cover it now with the other cameras and it's well protected here well almost well protected <laughs> we do get horizontal rain here that can land on it but I think it might survive uh, probably the motor will seize up before anything else <laughs> But we'll see if water gets in it. Um, so you got the land cable going up the wall here. Over this junk pile here of dads. <laughs> which is meant to be a lot of those garden equipment and tools. That doesn't fit in the garage. And the cable goes up there. Along here. Behind the plant here. Yeah, looking quite... Happy there with all that rain we've been having in the last two weeks here. Through the mess of all the dead bees here and hives of dads. And they still sting if you're not careful, if you don't have socks or shoes on. This is where the hedgehogs come in handy for cleaning up. There's only a few bees out the hive. Uh, I guess it's quite warm today considering it feels like 16 out here. Here's another hive. 
and here's my latest camera the dual lens one still working perfectly fine hasn't got any water in it and looks like the waterproofing I did with the connectors are now working um, and also extra around the top of the camera and over the mic hole at the front there so it's all hanging together there and it goes also into the window there with a router the other side and it's got a mini router here of 5.1 gigabit, gigabit even though the cameras are only 100 megabit still uh, but and Wi-Fi can actually be faster, you know, as you can get up to 150 to 300 megabit if it's really close to the router. But yeah, it depends how far away it is. Uh, further away than two meters, and then you start to get frame dropouts. I find so you can't be having it cabled. But yeah, you can get flat cables for LAN cables now and that would be better for the window. I bought some uh, after this but this seems to work. Couldn't quite put down the catch in the window there. I've got another window camera here that's sort of guarding these cameras out here so if anyone tries to come snooping they're going to get caught unless they're wearing a mask. <laughs> so yeah that's it guys the new setups coming together. See you again in the next live.